Halo Man Mark owns 18 McDonald's with his queen right there. So what's one thing, Mark, that people have to prepare in order to get their first franchise? Yeah. So every franchise is set up a little differently. Um, McDonald's is one of the best, right? The best known when you look at McDonald's, known worldwide. But the biggest thing when it comes to McDonald's is they need to approve you. You've got to work in the business. You've got to understand the processes, the systems. That's what's made McDonald's great. Everywhere you go, the Big Mac tastes the same, the fries taste the same, the Coke tastes the same because of the processes and systems. So you got to work in the business. If you're good enough, a great enough leader, people manager, and you can execute your customer, McDonald's will want you, and they will find you a way to get into the business of the franchise. Obviously, it takes some money. Obviously, it takes some time. But go work in the business with the intent of becoming an owner, and you'll be able to do it. So, if I can ask, how did you drum up the cash, the credit, to get your first one? To get my first one, McDonald's requires 25% equity. So the average McDonald's in today's language is probably four and a half, five million dollars. So you're talking a million dollars plus in order to have that 25% equity. The first time, like I said, usually if you're good enough, McDonald's will let that slide and they will help you get in on your first one. Thereafter though, you've gotta you've gotta work it, you've gotta pay yourself. But but every penny, every cent I could contribute, I did. But um, having the money at the time that's tough. That's really tough. When, when you're somebody who's been working at McDonald's since you were 14, an Army veteran, coming up with a million dollars cash, super tough. How did you pull it off? So a couple ways. I had some gifted to me. So somebody who else, owner operator, said, hey, Mark, I'd like you. Existing uh, franchiser. Yes. And then that was my biggest piece. So once again, networking is extremely important. Wow. Uh, becoming everybody's you know, go-to, helping them when you can, and then they help you when you need it. What would be the net profit for, for one franchise? I mean, so net profit, that's assuming you have no debt left. Um, in the state, I'm mean, from the state of Utah, right? The average is about 700000 750000 per location. Oh, shit. Yes. Go get you some Big Macs, baby. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro.